Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming back at you Monday morning, August 13th. We all started trading last night, which uh, a lot of the professionals do. Uh, we'll start with Dollar Turkey. Opened at 6 20 at 720 excuse me we screwed around between 720 and 724 first hour there um, of note liquidity was very uh, minimal I would say about uh, 20 bucks went through up there 24 the high that we saw um, and then screwed around between 701 and 720 for the first sort of hour and a half. Now we're a cool 8% lower. What is that? 8%, 20, 44 big figures. Yeah, no, 6% lower. Just astounding, uh, the vol in this stuff. Problem of trading it is that it's sort of a big figure wide and sometimes five big figures wide. So be super careful. Um, and just as a uh, reminder, one million dollar turkey now, ten big figures on one million dollar turkey uh, is only fifteen hundred bucks when it's trading at seven. So obviously your parameters have to change, your sizing has to change if you are going to trade it. Uh, think deeply about trading it. I'm really not super sure what to do with it. Certainly don't feel comfortable buying TRY, which obviously means that it might be time to buy it. Uh, but I also do not feel comfortable momentum trading it on the right hand side because it just seems quite difficult to control the risk. Anyway, this is our risk barometer. Uh, it's trading 676 now. Equities taking a spill. Of course, short Nazi here um, from Friday. Had a good day Friday, obviously. Uh, for those of you uh, who are following our videos, 105, 115 obviously broke in Euro. Um, trading 113.71 now. It uh, looks to me we're going to do a little bit of a range now today. Uh, if I were to throw a number out there, I would say the low is going to be 113.40. We've probably put the high in already at, at 114.12. Um, this doesn't look like it's going away, this Turkish thing. We have some stubborn leaders, uh, and in my opinion, uh, not too savvy leaders of Turkey who look like they're going to dig in here um, and they're going to continue with this rhetoric that it's not my fault it's the West's fault, the speculators fault yada 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 this is not good for Turkey, this is not good for Germany therefore this is not good for Euro so we're sell on rally if you do get any funny moves uh, up onto the 114 handle it's a sell and I'm just going to take a guess, 113.40. We have good support at 112.90. If you look at the dailies, this here will be good support, 112.94. So let's like take a look at Euro Swiss here real quick just to show you how serious this is. When you see these kind of bars in Euro Swiss, something is really wrong in Europe. So, this is basically also a barometer as to how the market feels and how serious uh, the news flow is. This kind of three day pattern in Euro Swiss is just telling you wake up, be careful, this is serious. So, between Dollar Turkey and Euro Swiss, these are your risk barometers. Uh, and this will give you the temperature of how much fear is out in the market. Let's throw some scenarios out there. 
uh, if Turkey does uh, raise today um, let's say by say 500 basis points or something uh, there will be a knee jerk pretty powerful move left in dollar Turkey which will make a pretty powerful move right in um, euro dollar and euro yen uh, but I don't think that's going to solve things even if they do have a massive raise obviously capital controls is the worst case scenario for Turkey uh, they will just you know blitzkrieg uh, the currency if they do that so you have to watch the news flow as well anyway core short euro euro yen is looking a little bit stretched here but we do have support 114.66 so we're kind of right in the middle of euro right euro range and euro yen range so let's not get too if you if you're square going into the european open let's not get too crazy just be patient the vol is coming back these are good trading conditions there will be money to be made uh, and there will be money to be made on both sides um, because of the volatility let's take a look at dollar yen less of a risk barometer than it used to be a lot of uh, my colleagues and my counterparties are talking about bids at 110 the figure this makes sense 109.95 is a 200 day moving average perhaps some Japanese accumulation here at 110 but this is rolled over um, as the world thinks about contagion and moves towards contagion this is also going to continue we gapped lower at the open um, there was a pretty swift move through 50 45 40 down to 32 in that first hour then we fucked around between 45 and 50 um, we did print a high of 74 after that but dollar yen is a sell-on rally so I mean you can imagine how strongly euro yen is a sell-on rally if both dollar yen and euro dollar are sell on, are sell on rally today euro yen is the is the beast um, you're going to get big vol on this because both components are moving in the same direction. Risk on news, dollar yen goes up, euro goes up. Risk off news, dollar yen goes down, euro goes down. So this guy here um, is your currency on steroids uh, this week. Elsewhere, dollar CAD, we broke this uh, 131.23 late on Friday after good Canadian employment numbers this dollar bullish sentiment uh, overcame mildly positive Canadian numbers there were some negatives built in there but um, dollar CAD looks like it's a buy on dips just looking at this holy shit dollar rand motherfucker look at that <gasps> hooey I don't know if that's land reform news or just contagion. Wow. 120 handles. Looks like the high print was 1544. I was just about to say this is a buy back into 14. But that seems like a bit of a silly call at this point. Hooey. Check your check your news feeds in dollar rand. I don't have time for that. I gotta start. I gotta head into the office. But man, that's a doozy. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, core short euro. Core short euro. Uh, core short dollar yen. Pick your spots. Um, like I said, we're we're at the bottom of both ranges. There is going to be vol today. If you're late on this, don't chase it. You know, if you missed Friday's move, don't start getting massively short euro on the 113 handle. Wait for bounces. Be patient. There's always another move. Relax. 
the good news is volatility is back, so there's money to be made. Um, and with that, I wish you good luck. Ciao.